Oh, hey guys, sorry, I'm just listening to my Britney Spears cassette tape. In a little while, I'm gonna get a little crazy and pop in Shania. Let's go, girls. Today's glam fashionista 1990s look is absolutely based on the 90s Barbie. This is not her original outfit. This is just an outfit from like the early 90s that looked cool and I decided to put her in it. So here she is. So I probably would not have worn foundation um, because I was so little and my skin was perfect. But you know, for the sake of this video, foundation and powder. The most important thing for a 90s girl was to make sure you had a completely matte face and we wanna be sure to really see the powder. Like you want people to be like, oh, she powdered her nose. For sure she powdered her nose. In fact, a lot of times what girls would do is just skip the foundation completely and just put on powder. Okay, now that we are completely powdered up, we're gonna use the same brush we used for our face for our cheeks. And you wanna get the brightest pink blush you can possibly find. This one is from Estee Lauder, and I actually think that it is from the 90s. Um, I'm pretty sure I stole this from my mom. Yes. Just gonna pop that right on there. Just, 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 just pop it on. Just get it all on there. All over your cheeks. You want like this youthful glow. The rosier the cheeks, the younger you look. Put some on your nose too, it's fine. Now it is time to move on to the eyes. And for the eyes, we're going to really look at Barbie for some inspiration here. Um, Barbie was very popular for her blue eyeshadow and her frosted pink lips. So this is the look we're going for, okay? So yeah. First, I'm going to use a frosted pink loose pigment. We're just going to pop this frosted pink right underneath the eyebrow. And uh, don't bother to blend it because blending is just for losers. You don't need to blend. It's glitter. From the same company, No Boundaries, we're going to take a blue. This one's called Pixie. I think the pink one is called Fairy Dust. The blue one is called Pixie. So we're going to take this blue. Just going to pop it on the eyelid. Really get it on there. If you have a bunch of fallout, don't worry about it. Um, I mean, you can never have too much glitter, so it really just kind of gives you the highlighted areas of your cheekbones, you know, a lot of oomph, a lot of emphasis, and it really kind of just makes them pop, you know. We're gonna keep the same brush, and we're gonna go for a bright blue eyeshadow. This one is from Rimmel. And the color is Posh Peacock, and I believe the name is probably why I got it because I was a huge Spice Girl fan. Like Posh, Posh Peacock, like yes, please and thank you. Now we're just gonna put it on the lid down here. Lower part of the lid, just really fill it in. Now if you have a ton of fallout from that blue, just take your blush brush and your face brush and just really smear it in because it kind of gives you that smoky eye look. So kind of push down and smear it. Yeah, like that. Yes. Now to take the blue one step further, we're going to use a blue eyeliner. This one is from Rimmel and it's just called Cool Blue. So we're just gonna go in here and just line the eyes. Now it's time for mascara. If you have blue mascara, you win. I didn't have any and I didn't want to buy any because I will never use it again. So we're just gonna go with the black. 
from Rimmel. Again, if you messed up a little bit, you can just like use your finger and smear any like mistakes of mascara underneath your eyes and that'll really give you a smoky look. So we're not done with the mascara yet, so don't put it away. There were two techniques in the 90s for doing eyebrows. One was to take a really dark eyeliner pencil and just make a straight line. And the other was to use black mascara to fill in your natural brows. That is the technique we're going to use today. Here we go. This is something I learned from my mom because she has black hair, so she would just do this. And so me, you know, looking up to her thought, hey, I should do it too. So here we go. Black eyebrows. Oh Lord. Yes. Yes. Now, keeping with the Barbie theme, I'm going to use uh, Pink Cloud by Revlon. It is a frosted pink. Now, one last step to be like super glam, make sure you get your stick-on earrings if you don't have your ears pierced, which I did not. <laughs> That is the completed look for the 90s. Right, so would you like some gum? I've got gum tape. Watch this. It's like kind of like film, I guess, like old film. Pow. So you could just roll out as much as you want and then pop. There's your gum. Gotta do my nails. so you can get the full effect and if you were like a super fashionista you would use bugles or if you just wanted to be like a witch on the playground bugles do they still make bugles I don't know so how many of you used to play hooky so you could stay home and play your Nintendo 64 I was a snowboard kids and a gauntlet legends type of gal Gauntlet Legends, I think, is probably where my anxiety stems from. Blue Valkyrie is about to die. No! And Uno is where we developed all of our trust issues. You holding that draw four, huh? Holding that draw four until the very end, huh? So if you had a little purse or a little, like, fanny pack that your parents would let you take to school, it most likely had lip smackers in it. Also, you were super extra cool if you had wet and wild lipstick. What was your favorite movie from the 90s? Mine, uh, outside of Disney, because like all the Disney movies I loved, like Aladdin was my favorite and Pocahontas and Mulan um, and Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid, all the Disney movies were fabulous. But outside of Disney, my favorite movie was probably Mrs. Doubtfire. I loved Robin Williams and I loved this movie and I still have it VHS. The Flintstones. Oh my gosh, John Goodman, so funny. I loved The Flintstones. And I just thought Halle Berry was like the prettiest thing ever. Now we want to talk about movies that you watched over and over and over again as a kid and then like you realize when you become an adult that you can't watch it. Homeward Bound. What kind of movie is this? This is so sad. <laughs> Sad. Like, for those of you who have not seen it, it is about three animals. Okay, this one is old. This one is like super young, and this one is just, I mean, it's a cat, so she's like a cat. That's sassy, by the way. Their animals get lost, and it's about the animals trying to find their way home again. And like, it's so sad. <laughs> Watching this as an adult made me cry. But I watched it on repeat as a kid, so I don't know how my mother dealt with that, but. Yeah, let me just introduce you to Britney Spears Star Baby Scrapbook and Christina Aguilera Genie Gets Her Wish. What? Boom. I love Christina. We could talk about these 
like plastic <laughs> cases okay Jumanji hello Robin Williams was like a huge part of my childhood okay I adore him I bet you didn't realize that Draco Malfoy is in this yeah Tom Felton is in The Borrowers so if you haven't seen The Borrowers find it Richie Rich was amazing he had like a laboratory in his house and his own personal scientist it's so cool the parent trap ah oh! I seriously thought that they were real twins I want to talk about the real MVP twins of the 90s we can't go without talking about Mary Kate and Ashley hello we're super duper snoopers first class private eye the jungle book this actually has Lena Headey in it yeah Cersei Lannister plays kitty in this movie so if you haven't seen it go see it books are you even like a child if you didn't read the babysitter's club or the boxcar children and of course the ever so famous Harry Potter this is a first edition I got it in like 1998 when it first came out so I was in like third or fourth grade I think so yeah Harry Potter pretty sure I got this at a Scholastic Book Fair oh, I miss the Scholastic Book Fair literally the greatest day ever was when the Scholastic Book Fair came Whose bright idea was it to send like every kid at school home with one of these? I do not know how our parents survived. I don't even remember like proper fingering. I just like, let's just try like. I'm just like making it up as I go. <laughs> All right, so that is it for today's 1990s flashback, 1990s kid flashback. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, go away. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.